I cannot believe I have never purchased an advent calendar for Christmas like ever. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Nisha and today we are back with another video so today we will be doing an unboxing of my first advent calendar oh my gosh I cannot believe I have never purchased an advent calendar for Christmas like ever I've purchased advent calendars for chocolate like when you go to Shoppers Drug Mart or Walmart and you see like those big like cardboard Christmas things and they have like little windows of chocolate that's what I would usually get but I never got anything from like Sephora or any other company that actually had like beauty or makeup up or anything like that advent calendar so I'm really excited so today we are going to unbox the Sephora favorites advent calendar of 2022 guys this thing is huge like look how big this is and it has a lot of weight to it too but we're going to be unboxing this at the back it does have all the products that are going to be in this advent box there's about 25 products in here and i'm so excited because there's a lot of products in here that are some of full size some are mini sizes but there are a lot of my favorite products in this box and guys the price of this like look at that this is supposed to be a 480 dollars value and i got it for 130 dollars canadian plus i got this during the sephora vib ruse sale as well which i will leave down in the description description box down below for you guys if you guys missed that video I did a huge $2,000 Sephora VIB resale haul as always I got so many new products in that haul and this was one of them and I also got 20% off of this as well which is literally a steal considering how many products you are able to get in this entire box so I am super excited to open it like even like the stickers I haven't touched yet like I've literally been waiting to unbox this with you guys I am so excited this is gonna be a journey because this is my first advent calendar unboxing and I'm so excited so before we get into the advent calendar unboxing as always if you guys love seeing my videos please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notifications give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into our advent calendar unboxing okay guys so let's go ahead and rip off these stickers oh my gosh I am so excited okay um I don't have any scissors on me Okay, so I'm um, ripping the sticker off because I literally don't have scissors on me. Since I've been back, all my stuff has been kind of like all over the place, even though I'm like settled back in. I still don't know where half of my things are. Okay, we got the first sticker open and I did it with my nails. I love my nail tech, guys. I absolutely love her. I got the box open. It's now time to open it. Oh my gosh, look at that. This literally takes up the entire camera space, but look at that. That is so pretty it literally has all of like the north pole little houses i love that and it's red and it has like all the little like days oh my gosh this is so cute guys look at this ah. this is literally the cutest thing ever and i am so excited i literally cannot wait to dig right into it let's see where is day one Okay, so we're going to be unboxing day one all the way up to day 25, which is, I think, right over here. So let's go ahead and unbox the first one. Okay, so I'm just going to do the first one. Ah, okay, so in the first box... These are really hard to get out. So in the first box was the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Oh my gosh, I love this cream so much. This, of course, is the mini size, but I absolutely am obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is one of my favorite moisturizers to use during the summer and the spring, and this works really well with makeup. So I'm really excited that I was able to get this in the advent calendar box. Okay, so day two is right over here, so let's go ahead and open that one up. Oh, this one's actually a pretty big one. Okay, so inside number two is actually one of my favorite products that I absolutely love. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Nice Cinnamide Dew Drops. I absolutely love this. Every single time I wore this, especially when I was working during COVID, I wouldn't really wear any makeup underneath my mask because the mask would give me such really bad mask knee. So I'd be wearing this underneath my mask and my whole skin would be glowing around it. And everyone was asking me, how did I not break out? How did I get that really nice glow? And literally, this is a product that really helped me to give that really nice glow and protect my skin from breaking out so i'm really excited i was able to get this in the advent calendar because i absolutely love it okay so now we're gonna go and open up number three which is right over here and guys these are actually really hard to open when you have nails on so 
inside slot number three is actually one of my other favorite products. So this is a mini size of the Olaplex number three hair perfecter. I absolutely love this stuff and I've gotten really into the Olaplex entire hair care line since I actually got my hair done in color. Because literally this line has been what's protecting my hair from breakage, from damage, from dryness and I absolutely love it. And it just makes your hair look a lot more healthier. So I'm so glad I was able to get this. Okay, let's go on to number four, which is this one right up here. So inside number four is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I actually really like this cleanser back in the day and I love how I have a little mini size because it's gonna be super easy for me to travel when I go back to the island. And I like to have some of my skincare products in travel sizes in my carry-on. So that way in case like I get delayed at the airport, I need to stay at like a hotel or something, I have that with me in my carry-on. So absolutely love this. Okay, so now we're gonna go on and move into unboxing number five, which is this one right over here. So I love what's in number five. So in number five is the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm in Nearly Nude. I absolutely love this color. This is actually my second one. So during the sale, I actually got one of the Sephora Favorites Lip Favorites sets. And this actually came in the full size in that set. So I actually have an extra one, which I'm really glad about. So that way I can keep this one at home and travel with the other one. Or I have this one as a backup to use. But I absolutely love this color. So I'm really excited. Okay, so now we're going to go and unbox number six. So six is right over here. So inside box number six, this is the Sunday Riley CEO 50% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. So I actually never tried this brightening serum before. So I'm really intrigued to try it and see how it is because I've heard really good things about this vitamin C serum. So the next box we're going to open up is we're going to open up number seven, which is this one right here in the bottom corner. And this one is square. So I kind of have a feeling of what this one is actually going to be. And I'm actually really excited. So inside number seven was the Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peels. So I absolutely love these peels so much. They literally have transformed my skin. They provide excellent exfoliation and they literally just help to clear your skin and eliminate all those dead skin cells and I absolutely love it. I personally haven't tried the Extra Strength one so I'm really intrigued to see how it works on my skin. To be honest, hearing Extra Strength, it kind of scared me a little bit just because I personally wouldn't gravitate towards it. I usually go for the blue or the orange packages of this one which is kind of like the mild and the medium strength of these three so I'm really intrigued to try this one okay so now we're gonna go ahead and open number eight which is this one here in the corner the Necessaire Body Lotion. I'm actually really excited to try this because I haven't tried anything from the brand just yet, but ironically, yesterday, I saw a YouTube video about Dr. Shaw talking about the Necessaire line, especially with like hair care and body care, and he actually raved about it and he actually really liked it. Also, I ran out of my body lotion this morning. I was using the Summer Fridays Body Lotion and I absolutely love it. So I'm really intrigued to try the Necessaire and see how it is because this is a mini size, so I actually really like it. I'm literally just gonna go out and purchase the full size because I absolutely love of good body lotions like this and my absolute favorite was the summer fridays and the sol de janeiro bum bum cream so really excited to give this a try okay so now we're gonna go ahead and open number nine which is like this little tiny one right over here so inside number nine is a mini size of the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I actually really love the Kiehl's skincare line. We used to use them a lot back in high school and I just saw other brands and it just ended up branching out a lot more trying out new skincare products. This has actually been like one of the first eye creams that I actually used. So I'm really excited to add this back into my skincare routine. So now we're gonna be opening number 10, which is this one right over here. So inside number 10 is another one of my favorite products. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian 4 Play Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. I absolutely love this gel so much, especially in the summer. I love using this and the body lotion and just putting it all together and you literally just smell like you're just like a walking beach. Like it just literally smells like summer in a bottle. And I absolutely love how it came in a mini size as well. So I can definitely use this to travel without. I'm really excited to add this back into my shower routine. Okay, so now we are gonna jump on to number 11, which is this one right over here. 
So I find it hilarious that I'm actually talking about a lot of the brands that are actually some of my favorites for like my skin and my body and they're showing up back in this advent calendar. I absolutely love it. So in number 11 was the Summer Fridays Jet Leg Mask. I love this mask so much. I had an obsession with this mask I think like a year ago during COVID. We were stuck in the house and I just had an obsession with using this and it was just so good and hydrating and I don't know why I stopped using this mask. I felt like other leave-on masks or like other like cream treatments came into the market and it just got so hyped and I guess I kind of forgot about this but I'm really excited to put this back into my skincare routine because this was an absolute favorite of mine okay so now we're gonna go on to number 12 which is this one right over here Okay, so inside number 12 is actually a brand I haven't personally tried just yet, but it's always been on my wish list to purchase something from her line. So in number 12 is the Shani Darden Lactic Acid Exfoliating Serum. I am so excited to give this a try. It's actually a really small size. If you guys can see, it is actually really small, but her skincare line in general is very upscale. It's very luxury and it's also very expensive. So I guess that's why I haven't really gravitated towards her line because I found other products that were more reasonably applied and more affordable that work just as well as a product that would cost $300. So the fact that I'm able to try a small sample size in this kit, I'm actually really excited. And plus, I also love using lactic acid treatments as well in my skincare routine every now and then. So I'm really excited to give one of her products a try. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to a lucky number 13, which is right over here. So inside, lucky number 13 is a mini size of the Kerastase Elixir Ultimum Hydrating Hair Oil Serum. I absolutely love this serum back in the day when I used to work at Sephora. A lot of the girls would rave about this oil and I absolutely loved it. I used to use it on my hair all the time, especially when I used to style my hair a lot and then I guess I kind of took like a healthy curly hair break and now I'm back to styling my hair again. I love this oil so much, so I'm really glad I was able to get a small size to incorporate it back into my hair care routine. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to 14, which is this one right down here. Guys, I'm just so obsessed with opening these little windows. I find they're so much fun. Like, I'm definitely guaranteed to buy more in the future. So inside box number 14 is the Kate Somerville Skincare Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. I used to love this stuff. Literally seeing all these products literally takes me back to my Sephora days where I would honestly use all of these products. These are some of our best selling products at Sephora for exfoliating treatments and I absolutely loved it. And then again, new products came out so I of course ended up shifting away from it. But I'm so glad I'm actually gonna go back to it because I absolutely love this exfoliating treatment. It was just so good. It took off all the dead skin cells and it made your skin feel super clean and I absolutely love that So really excited to give the exfoliate a try again. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to number 15 So inside window 15 is actually another brand that I personally haven't tried just yet. So this is the Tower 28 SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. So I'm really intrigued to try this. So what does it say at the back? So it says to soothe, purify, and renew the happy solution for angry skin. Use AM or PM before moisturizer for all skin types, especially sensitive skin. Wow. So I'm really excited to give this a try. It says it's fragrance-free, alcohol-free, oil-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. Personally, my go-to facial spray has always been the cold Totally magic elixir. I've always loved that. I've always used it. And I've always repurchased it. And I was kind of scared to branch off into other brands. So I'm really intrigued to give this a try because it says you're supposed to use this before moisturizer. I'm going to try it and I'll get back to you guys on how I actually like it. Okay, so now we are going to go and open up box 16, which is this one right here in the corner. So inside number 16 is Skylar Clean Beauty Pink Canyon Eau de Parfum. So I've actually never tried any of the Skylar fragrances, so I'm actually really intrigued to try it and see how it is because I know it is one of the Clean Out Beauty brands at Sephora. It is also a roller on too, and it does have like a metal roller on the tip. So this is actually really exciting. I'm just going to apply some on my wrist. Ooh, it actually smells pretty nice. Ooh, it kind of smells kind of like a fresh floral almost. I actually really like that. And it just smells very clean. Like when you get out of the shower, like this is like one of the perfect scents to kind of roll on your neck and on your wrist and any of your high key points. So this is actually really nice and refreshing. So I'm actually really excited to start using this on a day-to-day -day basis. And I also like that it's also a clean beauty perfume at Sephora as well, which makes it a whole lot better. Okay, so now we are gonna go on to number 17, which is right over here in the corner we are really racing through this advent calendar 
Okay, so I haven't tried this product just yet, but I've tried other things from the brand. So this is the Amika Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. So how do you use it? Give your mane a burst of intense moisture plus softness. The sleeve-in treatment deeply hydrates. Damp or dry strands overnight resulting in a silkier looking hair. So you can apply it on damp or dry hair, which is actually pretty cool. And you apply it before bedtime. So it says you spread a pump into your hands and distribute it from mid lengths to ends. And there's actually no need to rinse in the morning. Okay, so that's pretty exciting. I'm always looking for something to kind of like add a little bit more hydration throughout the midweek because I only wash my hair in the winter once a week because I do have naturally curly hair. So sometimes my hair does dry down throughout the week. So this would actually be a really good refresher to add a little hint of hydration. So I'm actually really intrigued to try this. Okay, so now we are going to move on to number 18, which is this one right over here in the corner. So this product is the Grande Cosmetics Grand Lash Peptide Lash Enhancing Serum. So I personally have the full size of this and another set as well because I do like to stock up on my lash and eyebrow serum. I always like to use these during the morning and the nights to put them on my lashes and on my eyebrows just to add a lot more fullness and length and volume to my eyebrows and my lashes. So I'm really excited I got a mini one because this is going to be great to travel with. Okay, so now we're going to go on and move on to number 19, which is this tiny one right at the top. So in number 19, this is the Youth to the People Polypeptide 121 Future Cream. So I'm actually really excited to try this moisturizer because I'm a huge fan of Youth to the People. I love all their products. One of my favorite products from them is the cleanser and the facial oil as well. I absolutely love it. I use it regularly in my skincare routine. So I'm really excited to try their moisturizer because I believe this is one of their newer moisturizers that actually came out in the past year or so. I'm actually really excited to see how it works because it got really good reviews online. So super excited so now we're gonna go and move on to number 20 which is this one right at the top Okay, so this product is actually a product I also used in the past and I absolutely loved it. I never got around to repurchasing it again for my skincare routine. So this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. And I absolutely love this serum so much. But again, I also found other serums that work just as good. And I thought before I actually needed to do like anti-aging and stuff, I know it's really good to use for preventative measures. But I thought I'd be able to repurchase this probably like later when I'm probably like 28, 29, 30. Right now I'm just 25 and I actually found other products that work really well for my skin right now so I'm really glad to have had a smaller size that I kind of incorporate back into my skincare routine for the meantime and I'm super excited to put this back into my skincare routine so now we're on to number 21 lucky 21 so it's gonna be this corner right over here and this one's actually a bigger flap too so I'm actually really excited to see what's underneath here so inside number 21 is actually a really good product that I personally really love. So this is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. So I'm actually really excited to try this again because it is winter. Our skin's going to be really dry and I absolutely love how rich and moisturizing her products are. And if you guys have seen my Sephora haul, which was like two Sephora hauls back, I think I posted this back in August or September. I will leave a link down in the description box down below, but I absolutely love her body butter so much and I think they're so ideal especially for the fall and the winter when our skin is getting a little bit more dry so I'm absolutely really excited literally I'm going to start using this tonight like that's how excited and how much I love this product like I'm actually really excited so now we are on to number 22 so inside number 22 is actually another product that I personally haven't tried just yet, but I've heard really good reviews about. And this is a miniature size of the Ren Clean Skin Care Ever Calm Overnight Recovery Balm. Since I've been back from the island, my skin is Sahara Desert Dry. So I've been using my Skin Fix Moisturize. I've been using all my overnight hydration mask treatments and such. So I'm really excited to see what this can do for me and my skin. So I'm really excited to give this a try and to incorporate it into my skincare routine. Okay, so now we are on box number 23 oh my god this is literally going by so quickly this is actually so much fun to do I'm actually really excited and kind of sad that we're almost done unboxing the advent calendar so in number 23 is actually another one of my favorite products. I actually got gifted the full size of this from one of my good friends who I used to work with at Sephora and I absolutely loved it. So this is the Grown Alchemist Hand Cream in Vanilla and Orange Peel. I absolutely love these hand creams. I took the full size with me when I had initially moved to the island and I absolutely loved it because during that time it was still kind of towards the end of the COVID era. So we are still like rigorously washing our hands and sanitizing so my hands were super dry. So I was really glad I brought that hand 
lotion with me because it smelled really good. It was super hydrating and it wasn't overly too thick and moisturizing because again on the island it is really hot and you don't want something that's kind of like too greasy or hydrating if you know what I mean. This is literally like the perfect mix so I'm really excited I got a mini because I'm literally going to put this in one of my purses right now. Okay so we literally have two more boxes left so I'm really excited so now we are on box 24. Okay so this is like a tiny box so I'm really excited to see what's in it. So inside box 24 is actually a really pricey product. Like literally this product retails for like over $200 and I personally never tried it. So I'm really excited that I was able to get at least a mini size of this to actually try it. So the product that was in number 24, this is the Sawasu Concentrated Jinxing Renewing Cream. So this cream had really good reviews. It's also like a Korean beauty product as well. And it's just really expensive. It's like one of those more luxury skincare items that's up there with like La Mer and Tatcha and such. And I I just personally never been able to actually try this myself and even though it's like a very baby mini size I'm gonna take what I can get because I know how expensive this product is what I'm scared about is if I actually love this product this product literally cost me over $200 let me let me google and see how much this product actually is Okay, so I actually looked it up on the Sephora app. So the price for the Solwasu Concentrated Jinxing Renewing Cream for the 60 ml, which is like their full size, it actually costs $341 Canadian. That's insane. So you're literally almost paying $400 with tax on a moisturizer. This, I feel like it's a little bit more pricier than La Mer, if I'm not mistaken, or about the same price range, but that is literally insane. So I'm actually really excited to use this and I'm gonna use this so sparingly, if you know what I mean, because it is so pricey. And the bottle is so small but I'm really excited to see how this works with my skin okay guys so now we are on our last box for the Sephora favorites advent calendar for 2022 this is actually really fun so this is number 25 right over here so I'm really excited to open it and it's also my last one so let's go ahead and see what's underneath this flap so under flap 25, the final flap, I'm actually really excited because this was actually well, one of the products I personally wanted to try from her entire collection since it launched in Sephora stores. So this product is the Key Soul Care Sage Plus Oat Milk Votive Candle. Oh my goodness, guys. This packaging, it is just so beautiful. It is just a clear black glass and it just looks so pretty. And this is supposed to be kind of like its flavor or the scent, sage and oat milk. Oh, this smells so good. Honestly, this kind of smells like a man's clone. And I absolutely love those type of candles, especially the ones from Bath & Body Works that smell like a walking man. I absolutely love having that smell around my room. Oh, just this just smells so good. I absolutely love it. I literally cannot wait to burn this. I feel like I'm going to start burning this candle tonight because that's how excited I am. But it just smells so good. Literally, it smells like a walking man. Like, literally, it just smells amazing. And I'm so excited to actually try something from her line. And I'm just, like, so excited to, like, give this a try. So that is it, guys. We unboxed the entire Sephora Favorites Advent Calendar of 2022. We unboxed the entire thing. Everything here is literally empty. This was actually so much fun to lift up the flaps and everything and unbox it. It wasn't fun for my nails because just trying to get the products out, it was a struggle. And for a few of the products, I literally had to get my mom to take them out because I couldn't get them out with my nails. But I am so happy with everything that came in the Advent Calendar, everything was so good. A lot of these products are products that I have personally used in the past and absolutely love. A lot of these are products that I haven't personally tried yet, but I've heard really good things. So I'm super excited to dig into everything. And I'm also glad too that a lot of these products were trial sizes because that enables me to take it with me when I do travel again next year. And it's just a lot more easier to put in my carry-on, into my purse and whatnot. Honestly, I felt like we got our money's worth because everything in this box was like worth $480 and we got this for like $100 five dollars with 20% off so I am super happy with everything I got inside this box I have no complaints whatsoever I'm super pleased with everything and it's all products that I personally would use as well and incorporate it into my makeup and skincare routine which is what I actually really love about this advent calendar so because I love this so much I am definitely going to be purchasing a lot more advent calendars probably next year around the holidays because they were so fun to like unbox and see what it is it does give an entire list of what's actually inside the box but it's a lot more fun because you don't know which product is under which box it just gives like a really a whole other level of surprise and i absolutely love that like that's kind of like the fun part of holidays so yeah guys we are officially done i hope you guys enjoy that video of me unboxing my sephora favorites 2022 advent calendar this was absolutely a blast as always if you guys love watching videos on my channel don't
forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notifications give this video a thumbs up and i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys